I just pulled up to the bins and look who is in the car beside me. Hola. Guess what time it is? It's time for a Goodwill Bins collaboration video. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. Okay, right off the bat, I run into plush, and that first pep of the pig was amazing. It was a like freestanding plush, so uh, super cute. So I've got that listed. I am gonna be popping up screen shares of every item that I picked up that is listed in my eBay store. So before I release the videos, I have to list, list, list like a machine. And I was here probably for, I wanna say around five hours. Um, I met Dad Planet up here to do a collaboration video. Um, he was not there as long as me. I ended up getting three separate videos. So um, I ended up forgetting to eat breakfast. So I had to run out to my car and eat a nutrition bar. So what I did is I had two videos worth, went out to the car, cashed out, went back in and shopped some more. So there will be three videos in this series. Please go over and sub up Dad Planet. I will link him down below. The video I did before this, um, you will see an amazing, unbelievable find. Something that he found that I, I just couldn't even believe my eyes. But anyway, check out that video. Um, I'll try to remember to link it at the end of this video. So the plush, there was a lot of plush here, but this was also the leftovers from the night before. So I usually get there at 9 a.m. right when they open because if you don't get there early, you don't get a cart. Um, apparently something happened and a bunch of the carts got, I don't know what happened, but they don't have enough carts anymore. <laughs> so if you're not there when they open, you're pretty much out of luck. I went later one day and I had to carry around a tote because there were no carts. So um, and one day somebody stole my cart. That was fun. So uh, yeah, plush, looking through the plush. If you see something I missed that you would have picked up, please let me know in the comments. Um, that is how I learn and that is how everyone else learns. I am keeping most of the footage in. So um, you're gonna see those screenshots of the things that I picked up. Sometimes you're gonna see me put things in my cart and then you won't see a screenshot. That's because I ended up putting that item back. I did not buy it. So um, again, these are the bins from the day before. So these have already been picked through. So typically when I first get there, sometimes I find some good stuff, but most of the time, you know, it's a lot of bread and butter, but I'm okay with that. Um, I like items that are bread and butter that fill up my store and sell for a decent profit. Okay, more plush. Uh, also, if you guys are new to my channel, thank you for being here. I do tons of what sold videos and I also feature other sellers and what they're selling. So it's a great way to learn about bolo items, but I will tell you there is gonna be a lot of Goodwill bins videos just like this coming your way because I really enjoy the bins and they're super fun. So let me know in the comments if you like these types of videos. Um, if you have any suggestions of things that I could do better or things you want me to look for, but um, we're going to keep digging through this plush. Uh, I did pick up this guy, kind of a womp womp. Um, plush was by the pound unless it was an oversized big plush, and then they only charged me 99 cents. So all of these were by the pound. It's $1.89 a pound at my Goodwill bins. So, you know, most of them I had probably a buck or less in. This is a little llama. You can see what I've listed the items for. Now I will tell you, there were a lot of items that I could not find comps on. So when I cannot find a good comparable, I will list that item at an auction 
and I will list it at what I hope to get out of it. So if I can't find any others like it, I'm gonna price it on the high side. So that doll that I just showed you, I'm starting that auction kind of high. I did find some comparables, but nothing that was exactly the same. So if she does not sell, I will relist her probably at a higher price, buy it now, and I will run a sale. Typically I run anywhere from 30 to 35% off. And then I also offer best offer. So that is how I do things. But most definitely, if I cannot find another one like it, I am gonna try an auction first, just in case it's something special. But I did end up picking up a ton of plush. Uh, I did pick up that Scentsy Lion, and when I got home, I realized that the hair was really matted, so I ended up just donating that one. Um, the hair was not supposed to look like that, and I did not know that when I uh, picked it up. And plus, you know, when I'm at the bins, like, I'm just moving quickly, and I'm recording with one hand and digging with the other, so, you know, sometimes I get things home, and I decide that I'm just going to donate them, and I'm not going to mess with them, so that will happen from time to time. I call that a bad buy. <laughs> but uh, I have popped up all the screen shares so far of the items that I have picked up to resell. So they are listed and available in my eBay store. Um, I do have a link to my eBay store down in the description of the video. If you see something you want, feel free to make me an offer. And just put Bolo Buddies in the comment when you make the offer so that I know you're someone from the channel. All right. Can you believe all of this plush? So this has only happened um, a couple times. Most of the time there's a few plush thrown in here and there, but usually not this much. So it's always exciting when there's a lot of plush. I really enjoy selling plush. Now, um, one thing that I tell people is if you're going to use plush in the title, I also recommend that you fit in the word stuffed animal because I feel like plush is a reseller term and stuffed animal is a term that um, a parent or somebody looking for a stuffed animal, that's what they're going to search on eBay. So uh, you want to make sure that you're getting those views from not just resellers, but actually people looking for the item. This is a replacement bottle. I always pick those up. Little live pets, um, just different bottles. They usually say on the bottle what they go to, so they're really easy to list and people lose them all the time, so they are looking for replacements. Again, may be more of a long tail item, really just depends. All right, let me know in the comments, are you a long tail reseller, like you're okay with things sitting, or you only want the quick flips? I mean, of course we all want the quick flips, but um, are you a patient reseller? <laughs> I'm pretty patient. I just list it and forget it. All right. Oh, I just got an alert. It says Donatella Bottolino uh, dropped a Goodwill Benz video. So she dropped a Goodwill Benz video. She told me she was going to. Um, sounded like she had quite the experience. So um, that is up. So go check that out. Um, by the time this posts, it'll probably have been up for about a week. Dollhouse furniture, always a pickup for me. It's a great bread and butter item. Um, it doesn't matter if it's like Barbie or Loving Family or uh, Fisher Price. There's all kinds of different dollhouse furniture. Uh, a lot of times, again, another long tail item. So if you are an impatient reseller, it may not be a good choice for you. <laughs> That right there that I just showed you the screenshot to, I do have that up for auction also. It um, was a little bag, um, a doll bag, and it actually ended up, I uh, used Google Lens to figure it out, and it goes to a Bratz doll, and it's retired, and it had all of the little accessories in it. So I think that's gonna do pretty good. I started the auction on the higher end, what I hope to get for it, and if it doesn't sell, I will probably relist that at $50 or best offer and run a sale, maybe even 65 and then run my sale. We'll see, I'm gonna look at comps again. All right, we're back over here and I found some more plush, imagine that. That was super cute, but it was kind of dirty. Um, I keep thinking maybe I should have gotten it just because of the colors and the pattern. 
I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Would you have got the cool bunny? These are pretty cool. They're like parachute material. And I found a snowman and a Santa. Um, if you can find the vintage puffalumps, those are definitely a bolo item. These were not puffalumps, but I still think that I'm going to do okay with them. Um, just have to wait on the right buyer. New old stock. I talked about this in another video. Bread and butter, new old stock. I will pick it up because it is an easy list. This guy right here comped out pretty well, but mine was not in great condition, so I priced it a little bit lower, but I do think it will still, still sell. I also mentioned in the other video that the Rebel Reseller recently did a video on lovies, which are security blankets that have like a little plush on them that children use. They're called lovies. Uh, check out that video by her. It is uh, fantastic. You're going to learn so much. It's um, basically a research video on a particular uh, plush category. That one was new with tags. Didn't comp out very high, but super soft and fuzzy and will be a great gift for somebody to get someone for Christmas. Super cute. So this plush was all super nice. I mean, really decent, decent plush um, during this haul. I was really excited about it. This guy, I love him. He is so cute. I can't remember which, um, is he a He's a pug <laughs> and he's got his original tag on him. He's nice and big and he's just really cool. Okay, so plush, it just makes me smile. Does plush make you smile or do you not like plush? Let me know down in the comments. If you don't like plush, you're probably like, uh, move on. Let's get past the plush. We're going to look at some other stuff too, but this video is just jam packed with awesomeness. All right, I think, I think I've got about everything here that I'm going to pick up. That one was like a really weird, I can't remember. I think I've heard Rebel talk about the material. There's the snowman. So right there, I put those two together. And again, I've got it on auction because I couldn't find any comps. Um, so we're going to see where that goes. I'm guessing it won't sell and I'll relist it at a buy it now or best offer. And I'm not like ashamed to say that I do that because um, I feel like it's a great way to feel out, fill, feel out the market. <laughs> okay, that was the video from the Rebel Reseller I was talking about. This guy, I picked him up. It, not so great. He comped out really low, so... I'll be lucky if he sells. I'll probably have him for a couple years. <laughs> Make me an offer. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, probably not the best buy. Super cute, but just a lot of them on eBay. Oh, that was kind of cute. Maybe Should I have grabbed the homemade thing? Let me know if you guys think I should have grabbed the homemade thing. All right. Thank you all so much for being here. If you're new to the channel, let me know how you found it. And if you've been here a while, I would love to know how you found the channel also. Uh, so drop me a comment. And be sure to subscribe if you're not. I know everybody like, you know, you start watching and then you get caught up in the show and you forget to subscribe. So here is your reminder, your friendly reminder to subscribe. Um, I do have another channel called Sourcing with Bola Buddies if you guys want to check that out as well. I've been doing a very bad job of putting new content up over there. Only getting out probably three or four videos a month on that channel, but um, really focusing in on this one right now. Okay, this guy. I saw him and I got excited because I thought he was one of these, but he was not. Um, I have actually sold the um, the ones with the high solds on the other side there that I showed you uh, before, and they are big money. The one I found, unfortunately, is just a cheap, low comps Avon guy. Still cool. Um, I did put a video on my third channel called Reseller Testing Bolo Products with that item, so hopefully I'll make a little bit of revenue off that. Um, but I do not expect that to be a quick sale. You have to have um, the other, I think it's a snowman or something that goes with it and they're synchronized and I only have the one. So I'm selling it as a replacement.
All right. Now, um, Dad Planet actually did a two-part video also. Um, his part one was really, really good. He found, um, I'm just going to give you a little spoiler, a Bethany Lowe Halloween um, decoration. Go check out that video and see what it looks like. It did have a little bit of damage on it, but I really think that he can fix it up really easily. And Bethany Lowe is definitely a bolo. This is a little pig. It's a Boyd's Bear. It didn't have the original tag. I went ahead and picked it up just because I thought it was cute. <laughs> Dollar eighty nine a pound. I mean, I can flip that and make some money. This bunny, I kind of feel like I should have got it also. It's like big and snuggly and cute, and I just feel like somebody's probably looking for it. Um, but I didn't get it. But this, oh my goodness, I did get this. So it holds a blanket, but I did not have the blanket. Um, it was a little bit dirty. I ran it through my washing machine and it cleaned up super nice um, and it is ready to go. Uh, there was a bunch of Kohl's Care in here and I don't typically pick up Kohl's Care, but the Rebel reseller said she picks it up all summer so that like during the Christmas season, she has a whole bunch because they do really well for her. Now, I think think she said they're a major bread and butter, you know, like between six and $10 a piece, but, um, she's good with that. So she likes picking up Kohl's care. Let me know in the comments if, um, you pick up Kohl's care or if you pass on those, I think for me, it really just depends. This guy was so cute. Definitely a pickup. I think I bought two monkeys. One of them is animated. I don't think, Oh, here it is. Is that it? Yeah. This guy, oh my gosh, you guys, over on my reseller testing Bolo products, I test him and he has this banana and oh my gosh, it's just so cute. But um, anyway, you can check it out over there if you want to see how he works. I sometimes will pick up toys that function, even if they're not a big money Bolo, so that I can test them on that channel. Because... Um, it's a reseller testing Bolo products channel, but I will tell you that those videos, people are constantly looking to know, they want to know how products work. So they will look them up on uh, YouTube. All right, look at this. It's a Scentsy Buddy. At first I thought it was an octopus, but it is a, um, a jellyfish and it is super cool. And it still had the scent in it and it still smelled super good. So that one was, I think, definitely a win. Here is another one of those parachute kind of nylon material Santas. Definitely pick that guy up. I could not find any comps on him. He's fantastic. So I've got him listed. I didn't get this turtle. It was kind of pretty. I did get the other turtle that was more realistic looking. Um, here is another kind of that parachute material reindeer. I found a whole bunch of those. I think I what, four or five of them total? This is great. Little um, Thai Beanie Boo, and it's a stackable, and it was Paw Patrol. With Christmas coming, I went ahead and grabbed that. I know last year I sold a lot of used toys during Christmas. Um, I don't know if it's like clothing where it's kind of trending right now, and it's okay to buy your family and your kids and whatever pre-owned items. Um but I sold a lot of toys last year that were pre-owned. Let me know in the comments if you sell toys, if you notice a spike during um, before Christmas. And do you think that um, people are buying pre-owned for their kids? If you are a parent, let me know in the comments, are you buying your kids pre-owned items or do you only buy them new items? I really am interested in what everybody's going to say about that because I'm serious. Like I'm selling a lot of toys um, during that time. And you would think that a lot of people would be like, nope, I'm only buying new. So it's kind of cool, I think, you know. This was kind of funky. Would you have picked this thing up? I don't know if it's handmade or what. 
I almost feel like I should have bought it just to try it. You will find that sometimes I list really weird things. I will list things that are damaged and you will see in my what sold videos that those items actually sell. Um, I, I think sometimes people watch me just to be like, what did she sell this week? <laughs> because I sell some crazy stuff. I did pick up this uh, Care Bears blanket and it did have, uh, I think, Muma or something like that uh, stitched into the top, which was interesting. Um, I'm guessing it was uh, maybe a grandparent or something that made that for their grandchild, uh, but the stitching can easily be removed. So I did still go ahead and pick that up. And I would say, is it Moomaw or Mammal or something like that? Maybe somebody else has that same nickname for their grandparent and maybe it'll sell as is. That was a little birthday party photo prop, um, like decoration thing. So it was new old stock. Again, just a bread and butter item, but it's ready to go. It's a barcode, take some pictures, easy to list and done. All right, we are going to keep digging here. Thank you guys again for being here. Um, what do you guys think? Would you have picked up the plush I'm picking up? Would you have picked up that humongous bear? Oh my goodness. I was not taking that guy home with me. I will say though, I was up here with one of my friends and she is not a reseller and she picked up this llama and I was like, I kind of looked at her like, is she thinking about getting this llama? And I keep thinking about the llama. I'm like, I should have bought the llama. Neither one of us ended up buying the llama. This I did put in my cart. I ended up looking up comps and it did not comp out high enough. So I just went ahead and left that behind. I can't remember what it was now. Um, she was super cute, but she had, if she would have been in mint condition, I definitely would have grabbed her, but she had some marks and scuffs and stuff on her. All right. I love finding bags of toys. Um, I actually had a bag full of um, Legos, Duplo mostly. There were some Mega Blocks and then there were some little Legos also, which were a nice surprise. But it was a bag I picked up. I'm not sure which. It was a recent Goodwill bins and I just listed all of it today. So I found some decent, decent Legos in there. So I ended up parting it out and I think I'm going to do pretty well. So sometimes what I guess what I'm saying is if I find a bag of toys, I just throw it in my cart and I leave. <laughs> I mean, I pay for it, but I don't look through it while I'm there. It's kind of fun to just be surprised when I get home. So far, it's worked out for me pretty well. I did that um, a while back. It was in, I think it was the Ben's 10 challenge. I did that with a crafter's lot, which ended up being a really nice score. If you put in hashtag Ben's 10, um, there was a collaboration video I did with a bunch of other resellers and I sent them on a scavenger hunt. So you can check that out and um, see what everybody found. All right, I found more plush, imagine that. Look at this little cutie. <gasps> Oh my goodness, she's so cute. So the brand is Me Too. And I actually found another one another day. So, and it's shaped like a reindeer. So they are both Christmas themed. I could not find comparables on either one of them. Um, so I do have those listed on auction right now. This is a replacement part for a Paw Patrol set. So I did go ahead and grab that. Somebody's probably gonna be looking for it. This, if you can find this new or in working order, the comps on that can be pretty good. So I'm going to end this video here with some comparables on that bear right there. I left him behind because he was not in great condition. Thanks you guys so much for being here. Please leave me a comment down in the description of the video. Go subscribe to Dad Planet. I will link that down below also. And leave me an emoji of your favorite emoji. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching.